How's it going YouTube and welcome to today's install where we are going to be getting rid of the factory exhaust and installing a brand new catback high clearance performance exhaust system from pipes. Now before we begin I just want to give you a look at this. So it comes in three sections. You have the tailpipe that's going to go over the rear axle. You have the new muffler that's in line and you have the new from the cat to the muffler. Now it does come with all the exhaust hangers as well as clamps so you will not be using any of the stock parts. Now let's go ahead and get started and show you just exactly how easy it is to replace your stock exhaust. Okay so the first step that we're going to do is we're going to start by removing the stock muffler. Now I have been soaking these bolts with some penetrating oil over the past few days in hopes that it'll make it a lot easier to get them loose. It's a 15 millimeter socket. I'm just going to go ahead and get in there and it appears that it has helped. All right, so the exhaust hangers are a royal pain. So we brought out the big guns and we're just going to cut it off. Okay, so I'm not going to lie, getting that stock exhaust off is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Now, I've been driving around for almost three years. I was over in Germany for about a year and a half while I had this Jeep, and they do salt the roads, so there was a lot of corrosion. Uh, those exhaust hangers do not want to come off, so make sure you got some wire cutters. You might want to get some um, a cutoff wheel. Just make things a little bit easier, but it is doable. We do have the exhaust off now and we are going to start installing. All right, so the first piece that we are going to install is the rear tailpipe. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pre-hang one of these exhaust hangers. I sprayed it with a little bit of WD-40. That way it'll go on just a little bit easier. and hang the new exhaust. Okay, now that we have the exhaust running up and over the axle, now it's time to install the muffler. So we're gonna slide a clamp over one end. If you have a two-door Jeep, then you're gonna have to do some cutting in the section right here. Um, since I have a four-door Jeep, I didn't have to do any cutting. It looks like it all lines up pretty well. So make sure you get this hanger in here as well that way it helps hold the exhaust and make sure you have all three clamps one behind the muffler one in front of the muffler and one that it connects to the y pipe now we are going to start making sure that everything is lined up we're going to attach all the hangers and then we're going to tighten down these clamps now the first bolt that we're going to tighten is the rear one that goes into the out over the axle now before you tighten it make sure you get it running as high as possible up and over that axle. This will keep it from being hit when you do any articulation. From there, we are going to tighten down the rest of the bolts. Okay, so there you go. That is how you install the Pipes Performance High Clearance Exhaust on a 2016 JKU. This thing, it it sounds amazing. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. 